Sports back again with our last part of our surface area series, part four. This is the Instructor Beats guide to surface area. So today we will be able to find the surface area of a triangular prism. So in video one, we talked about the area of a rectangle. Video two, we talked about the surface area of finding a rect of a rectangular prism. Video three, we dove into what the area formula for a triangle was, and we're going to put it all together today to find the area of a triangular prism. So first of all, um, we're not going to review a lot of things from surface area. You can check out our second video of our part two uh, for that. Um, but we are going to review the steps for finding surface area, which is you're going to draw out each face and label the length and the width, or in this case today, the base and the height for triangles. You're going to find the area of each face, and then we're going to add all the areas together. The surface area of a triangular prism is actually very uh, similar to finding the surface area of a rectangular prism, except the sides are different. You're going to have some sides that are obviously triangles. And so the first thing we want to do is we want to draw out all the faces. I'm going to draw the front triangle first, okay? And I'm going to draw the back triangle. And obviously, just like rectangular prisms, the opposite sides are going to be the same. And I see right here that I have three different numbers. But again, I only really need to know the base and the height, going back to our last video. And so the base of this triangle is 8, right? And the height's going to be the dotted line going from across from the tallest point to the bottom point, which is going to be 3. And so when I do 1 half times 8 times 3, I'm going to make this a 12 centimeters squared. That's the area of that side, which means my other triangle is also 12 centimeters squared. Now I'm going to erase this so I have more room. So this is where it actually gets a little bit fun right here because I'm going to draw the three sides. Now they could be completely different, and in this case, they are. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw my side right here. Okay, so I'm going to get a different color. And so I want to draw this face, right? When I say side, side and face for me are interchangeable. I know some people they aren't, right? And so I want to know what is the area of this blue triangle. Now I'm not going to shade out that five because I need it, but this side right here, what is, or sorry, the face, what is the area of this face right here? So when I draw this rectangle, make it blue. Okay. And I obviously see that the uh, length of that face is 12. Okay. Now, the width of that face I have labeled as 5, and so that's going to be a 5 centimeters right there, okay? And when I multiply that together, I'm going to use my area formula for a rectangle, so this is going to be 60 centimeters squared. Now, the opposite side of the triangle for this one is actually going to be the same because I see this dash right here. In this dash, which means if this is 5, that's also 5, so I'm going to draw another side of my triangle, okay, or another face, sorry, the opposite face, and I'm going to label this 12 centimeters and 5 centimeters, and again, this one is also going to be 60 centimeters squared. We have one more side, though, so let me do some erasing. So the last uh, face I need to find is the base, the face base, the face of a base. Oh, that rhymed. I like that. All right, anyway, um, and so what I'm talking about when I'm talking about that is I'm talking about this face down here that I'm shading in red, trying to shade in red, make it look, it's kind of hard, I know, to visualize sometimes, okay? And again, I'm gonna leave that five there for a second, but I'll color around it. I'm trying to find the area of this rectangle that, and so when I draw this, I'm gonna go ahead, obviously it's gonna be a rectangle, okay? And I see that my length is obviously 12, because it's right here, okay? But now I need to find the width. Well, I can't use five any for, anymore. Matter of fact, five should, pretty much be gone because the width of this rectangle is right here. The width of this is 8, not 12. And so a lot of people might use 5 just because they used 5 and they think all the faces are the exact same. But that's not the case, unless the triangle would be an equilateral triangle, which we'll get into later. But I need to make sure that I'm finding the numbers that go with each face. So for this one, it'd be the length times width would be 12 times 8, which would be 96 centimeters square. So just like our rectangular prism, our last step is to add up the area of all the faces. And I'm going to do 12 plus 12 plus 60 plus 60 plus 96. So I'm going to have 24 for my triangles, 120 for my two blue sides, and 96. I add those together, 13, 14. And my uh, surface area for this one should be 
uh, for this rectangular prism should be 240 centimeters squared. Okay, so I drew out my faces, I found the area of each of them, and I added them together, just like I did for rectangular prisms, except I had to use my different area formula, which is why we learned about it for the triangles. Let's do another one. All right, go ahead and um, push pause in a second, try this one out. When you uh, are done, or if you get stuck and need help, go ahead and push play, and let's see how you did. So hopefully you just push pause and you uh, tried it out, okay? So the first thing I wanna do is I wanna find the area of my two triangle faces. And again, that uses a different area formula than a rectangle. So one half times base times height. I see that the base of my triangle is five. I see that the height of my triangle, right, is my dotted line, not the two outside, but the dotted line, okay, which is gonna be four. And so if I'm finding one half of 20, my area for my triangle should be 10. So my area is going to be 10 feet square, which means my other side is also going to be 10 feet square. I'm gonna draw out my two side faces now, okay? So I draw out my two side faces and they kind of looked a little bit like this, except a little bit neater because it's kind of hard to draw for me. And so I'm gonna have 10 feet here, 10 feet will be my length. And when I'm looking at this now, I see that for this side rectangle or for this side face, my width was three. And so my rectangular area formula is three times 10, or uh, length times width. So this one's gonna be 30 feet squared. This one will also be 30 feet square, but I need to have one more because a triangular prism has five sides. So I'm going to erase all of this so I have more room. So the base of this is going to be a, a little bit bigger rectangle, okay? Um, and I see that the width of the base is still gonna be 10, but the length of the base is going to be Five. So my area for the base should be 50 feet square. When I add all those together, that'll be 20 plus 60 plus 50. And your answer should have been, your surface area should be 130 feet squared. Hopefully this has kind of helped you out, dive a little bit into um, surface area. Please check out our surface area song. It's only for rectangular prisms, but it has some good reminders on there as well as our steps. Please check out our other videos at Instruct the Beats Official on YouTube. We would love for you to subscribe. Follow us on Instagram at, at Instruct the Beats. Instruct the Beats, out!